This is a guide on Cyril the Cursed Smith from more of an average gamer's perspective. Every other video I've seen, they've managed to defeat the boss quickly while taking hardly any damage themselves. And that's just beyond my skill level. So hopefully this video helps more of the mediocre gamers out there, just like me. Going into the battle, you want to make sure you're using the highest percentage blood you have. Um, and I find warriors the best with all the extra damage you can do and the protection for yourself. You also want to make sure you're using your potions of physical power and spell power. They're cheap to make and they help significantly with the battles. I always start off my fights with the special attack from the crossbow. It does a fair bit of damage from a good range. And I like using the Corrupted Skull spell. Again, it's got great range and the skeletons it summons uh, help significantly with the fight, both drawing any aggression from any enemies and they do a fair bit of damage themselves. I'll also use the Death Knight spell. Again, it summons a skeleton and its knockback attack works on bosses as well. One thing I learned after beating him was you really want to focus on all the weapons he summons in. Uh, as you can see, my screen's getting very busy and I'm going to start taking a lot of damage just because there's too many enemies around. If you focus on the weapons right away, this fight will be a lot easier. The weapon I'm using for this fight is the Reaper. I find its special spinning attack is great, it does a whole lot of damage, and again has range. I definitely prefer using any ranged spells or attacks. I find if I'm fighting up close to the boss I end up just losing right away because I mess up the timing and end up taking every single hit from all their attacks. So the range kind of gives me the opportunity to see their attacks and dodge out of the way. You'll see shortly, I miss a very important hit, which would have killed him, and I end up almost dying myself. Uh, fortunately, my skeleton summon ends up killing him for me, and saves the day. Now, one of the most important things I've learned from experience with all my boss battles is as soon as you kill them, go extract their blood. While you're doing this, you're immune to all damage, and there's nothing worse than trying to kill off all the mobs around dying and then having to restart the whole boss battle because he didn't extract the blood right away. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it's helped. If there's anything you'd like to see, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.